Academy students, we've got a real treat today. Got Charmaine uh, in the house, and I'm so excited to have her on and ask her some questions about marketing and her perspective from being a social service director. I know a lot of you guys uh, over the years have asked me very specifically, Matt, how do I talk to a social worker? How do I get a hold of them? What What are some of the things they want to hear? And so, guess what? You're gonna have a former social worker, social service director on today so if you're out there in the the land of daily life you know hop on ask her some questions i've got some questions i'm going to ask her just in a conversational way but i hope these daily lives are, are important to you as they are to me i i love uh continue to add value uh i just sent out an email today to all the people who have ever been interested in the senior referral academy uh to let them know that now on our uh, YouTube channel, we have 264 videos of free content. So you got free content here on the daily lives as well as the uh, uh, YouTube channel. So I'm going to bring Charmaine in and let's get this thing going. Charmaine, welcome. So glad you are here. It's not Thank like you. I don't... It's not like I don't talk to you every day, right? It's, <laughs> <laughs> you're like, man, Matt, I, I, I talk to you every day. Now I got to come on a daily live and talk to you. Oh, I mean, this is fabulous. <laughs> well, I just wanted you on because you are a remarkable person. My wife and I just truly love you with all the, uh, from our bottom of our hearts. And, but I want to go to back to your former position uh, as a social, social service director, because I have had a lot of my students have asked me, Matt, how do I connect with them? I, I know you teach me in the, in the academy. Uh, man, it's all about getting out there and it's about doing something for them, adding value. But quite honestly, I'm getting a bunch of crap leads, man. I'm getting, you know, no uh, move-ins from it. Uh, but I still feel that it's a viable option and strategy going forward. So tell me a little bit about your position and uh, when you worked at the uh, skilled nursing facility. Yeah, as the social service director, you know, you get a lot of people coming in often. <laughs> They're dropping by, they want to grab your business, grab your ideas. There's an <laughs> influx of information. And, um, but those that you connect with are usually those that you um, want, you need that help. And I knew that because of how I was approached um, by you in the beginning when I needed help finding placement. Um, that was the biggest thing. But I can't, you can't necessarily go in as placement. You got to go in as a helper. Um, I approach them as what can I do for you to help you in your position? I know your plate's full. I know your desk is full. Um, what can I do to take that load off of you um, in regards to discharging patients? Absolutely. That's a great answer. And I, you know, Charmaine is actually demonstrating that very thing right now. There is a skilled nursing facility in my area that I've done a little bit of business with in the past, but never from the social worker, social service director. It's always a lead that was given to me indirectly from one of my people, in my network, but Charmaine wonderful she is is already busted down that door she's got some social workers that are interested in who she is and what we represent and now what's the first thing they did to her hey i've got this uh this lead but you know it's not probably what you're looking for charmaine tell me a little bit about that and how that went for you um, so I went and I saw the social worker, Josephine, about a week ago, and she says, yeah, I'll um, forward the information over because they happen to have discharge planners in addition to their social services. Now, that's something I didn't realize, and I've drilled down who has discharge planners in addition to the social workers, but I make them as a group. Um, 
so I focused on um, the one social worker when I went and visit her and she says, hey, you know, I really like what you have. I want you to meet our discharge planner. So stop by. Her name's Bonnie. Stop by and say hi. And and so I did yesterday morning. I, I called and I said, hey, Bonnie, I'll be in the area. Um, wanted to bring you a coffee if you would like. I want to just drop off my new business cards. Make sure you had one because I know you um, Josephine had them, but I want to make sure that uh, you have them. And she says, yeah, come on by. And I said, okay, great. So I knew that the morning meetings for all skilled nursings run anywhere between 930 and 1030. So that's a no time. I wouldn't even attempt unless you just plan on dropping something off because they're not going to be available. So I waited and I went after that time and she was glad to meet me. She was expecting me. She was ready to meet me. And I gave her my card and uh, and the information. And she says, hey, I need some help on this lead. Um, she's young, but you probably won't work with her. I said, no, we're in the business to help. <laughs> right, right? Absolutely. What do you yes. got for me? She said, um, well, she's, she's only 27 and I need to get her back to another county. And I said, send me the face sheet and I'll get started on it. And she says, oh, great. She says, um, is your cell phone number on the card? I said, absolutely. I said, how about yours? I said, let me get your cell phone number. Oh, beautiful. Yes, hear that? <clears throat> so she she that's did. Beautiful. That's, that's taking advantage in a good way to get her cell number. Go ahead, continue. Yeah, so she's texted me before I was even out of the parking lot. Hey, Charmaine, this is Bonnie. I have that lead for you. And I wrote back, yep, I'm heading back to the office right now. Once I get back to the office, um, you can send it so I can print it. And she says, you want me to send it via phone or email? I said, no, send an email so I can print it out and I'll get started on it. And then um, so she did. And so from there on out, the rest of yesterday, we communicated via text messaging. And I kept telling her where I was at in the process, maybe twice. It wasn't a big I didn't want to overwhelm her. I just had some questions because this patient has a trach now my experience is in subacute, sub -acute, so I know how difficult a trach is yeah. and getting them back out into the community. So I just had a couple questions and we built that relationship with one of the more um, busier short-term rehab skills. Absolutely. Absolutely. And guys, I'm telling you, so Charmaine penetrated that skilled nursing facility, something I could not do. And it's okay. Sometimes it takes another person. And my point to you, if you're in business by yourself, like I've been for three and a half years now until Charmaine came on board. All righty. Got a marketing director out there hitting the pavement for me. But um, you just got to, you know, look at different ways of approaching your skilled nursing facilities and or hospitals. Uh, understanding their people. They are, you know, it's not going to be the same way. It's not like, you know, you go open up a McDonald's franchise and assuming that everything's going to be just like that. It's, it's not a cookie cutter approach. It's more an art than it is a science. So you have to get to know the social worker, social service director uh, as best you can and take them up that scale. We've talked about before in some of these lives, like if they're a flat out zero, they're cold as ice. How can you get them to a one? Don't worry about getting them all the way to a 10. Now that's great. If they change, it's a, you know, it's a miracle. I mean, but you know, in reality, it doesn't usually happen. But how can you get them to a one and gradually build that relationship? So Charmaine has done a great job with that. And um, but Charmaine, let's get to, I mean, because you've experienced both sides of it, right? You've been a social yes. service director, now as a marketing director. Uh, it seems like you love what you do. Uh, we love what you do. I always, I already see an immediate uh uh, some success stories and results that are coming about. But um, when you reach out to them, whether it be a phone call or an email, which one would you prefer? And then how you usually go about doing that? So I started with a phone call, always a phone call, just say initial contact. Hi, Cindy. My name is Charmaine. Um, I'm with Stafford Senior Solutions. I wanted to offer some helping services and they would be like, helping, what does that mean? And I was like, <laughs> well, I was a social service. Glad you asked. <laughs> I, yeah. 
let me explain everything that we're doing and um, what I can do for you. And let me tell you, I got you. I was the social service director. I know exactly what, how busy you are. And especially during COVID and the help you need to get these people home, especially some of the COVID recoveries, they're a little more challenging, but I'll, I'll help with that. That's not a problem. And I understand and to send it my way, I've got you. Nice. So you see, you see a couple things that <laughs> I understand, send it my way. I got you. It, to me, it's a, it's a place of empathy, number one. But secondly, it's normal everyday language. Send it to me. I've got you. You know, sometimes we try to be so professional. Now I'm saying be unprofessional, but right. I think you get what I'm saying is we, we, tend to, we tend to try to be so professionally and politically correct in what we say that it comes out like, you know, you're, you're preparing for a speech. Just be you because oftentimes these relationships, I think, Charmaine, is where you, you jive with one another. You know, when you and I connected, we – we connected because out of our personalities and similar interests and things like that. And that's the way you guys, when you reach out to social workers and discharge planners and all the rest, there's going to be a, a chemistry there. And if there's not, there's not again, she, pen she penetrated the skilled nursing facility that I could not have and did not penetrate. Might've been personality. I may have come across, you know, this, uh, I don't know, just whoever I am the way, sometimes the way you dress, the way you, I mean, we talked about this before in, in academy and some coaching calls, you know, it, it's a lot, not so much what you say, but it, it goes with your body language. It goes how you say it and then what you say. So there's a lot to that. So why do you enjoy marking so much? I won't let you go in a second. because She's, she's super busy. I know we would go through these, these documents together <laughs> and I'm so excited what she's doing, but I mean, why do you love marketing so much? Because I think some of my students are kind of going, this marketing thing is a hard thing. It is hard, especially in COVID. But I love people. I love their stories. And I want to help. I want to help our senior community. There aren't enough people helping our seniors. They're just kind of, it's their golden years. They need that support. And families, they're working. They're sandwiched between their own children and their parents. And I want to take that stress and help them relax and walk them together through that process of finding a new place to call home. It's such an overwhelming place to be, even as that daughter or son that's trying to help that family member get to the right place and home. You're taking them from home 40 mm -hmm. years and sending them over, but I love people and always have, and I love stories. Everybody has a story, everybody. And I love Ooh, connecting. I love it. Love it. Guys, if you're not inspired by that, I don't know what's going to inspire you, but I know you are. And I want to, I'll let you go Charmaine, but Thank if, you. with your permission, uh, like for the students, I know some of you are watching live now and most will probably watch later. If you have any questions uh, for Charmaine, is it okay? They go ahead and hit down in the comment section. I know Charmaine's part of this group. She'd be glad to respond to you and anything. So it's one thing to hear from me all the time, uh, but I'd love for you to hear from other people that are actually in the business doing this. I know Charmaine and I are on a team, so it's it's kind of a dynamic duo here, I know. Absolutely. We've got, we, we, we've got an advantage, I know, but it kind of inspire you to get to this level and go on. So Charmaine, Yay. thank you so much. Thank you. you have a great much. day. I'll talk to you later. Okay, perfect. Thank you. You bet. All right, you guys, that was uh, hopefully a, a productive uh, interview for you. I know it was for me. I really appreciate her so much. And I want to encourage you guys to continue to get out there and tell people about your business. Uh, any questions, comment down below. We'd love to hear from you. Again, this is every day, seven days a week. I know you may say, I'm going to watch this a little bit later because I know Matt's going to do it. But take advantage of the live because when you do, you can ask me questions directly. And man, I will shift gears in my live. I will go ahead. We'll go up and talk in marketing. If you got a different question, I'll shift gears and do that. I could talk this business, talk about this business all day, every day. I mean, just nonstop. So because I love it and it's what I do on a daily uh, basis and always love to help you out. So until next time, God bless. Talk to you soon.